Hello, my darlings, and welcome back. Today, I want to talk to you about something that I think is really, really important for the sewing community, for the costuming community, for the history bounding community, for the slow fashion movement community, for all y'all out there who are makers, who are sewers, who call yourself seamstresses or sewists, whatever you want to call yourself. I'm here to tell you today to talk to you about sewing and you. And this is something that I've been kind of chewing on in my mind for a while now. I'm doing a lot of self-reflection on my own journey as a maker, as a sewist, as a dressmaker. If you don't know, I don't like calling myself a seamstress simply because of a lot of historical connotations with that term. Whatever you want to call me is also fine. I, I don't really care. Just be nice. <laughs> Over the past couple years, I have been actively trying to move away from my wheelhouse which is 18th century dressmaking. Expanding myself as a sewist, as a maker, into other parts of the sewing community, building up my skill set. And when I realized everyone deals with a lot of self-doubt as a sewer. I see these new kids and I see people who have been sewing for years like me, and we all deal with this weird sense of inadequacy that we're not actually that good, but that person over there is really, really good. And they're amazing. <laughs> but I suck, I'm terrible. You sit there and you beat yourself up over it and you think to yourself, oh, I'll never be as good as this person over here. I can never sew like that over there. I can't use a thimble. I don't know how to hand sew. I can't sew a button on it. <laughs> <laughs> and what I realized by hearing these conversations and having this internal monologue going on inside of my own head is everyone sucks at sewing. <laughs> and it's true, everyone sucks. But this is actually what's amazing about sewing and it's what's amazing about dressmaking is that everyone's garbage at it. <laughs> okay, now hear me out. Sewing is such a broad skill set and the act of making clothing is such a broad skill set that there will always be something you suck at. There will always be something I suck at. There will always be something that that couturier in the Dior house will suck at. Probably not a lot, but she sucks at it. Like there's something about sewing that's hard for everybody. And there's something about sewing that you're not good at. And it's okay. It's okay to not be good at because that just gives you something else to learn. And that's what makes sewing and historical costuming and making your own clothing and tailoring and dressmaking. That's why I think all of us love this hobby so much and love this subculture so much is that it never bores you. You can never be bored if you're sewing because there is always something new to learn. And so whether you come from it, from my perspective, where I learned how to sew by sewing 18th century gowns and dresses and accessories. I learned how to hand sew with a silver thimble on my hand. I cannot sew without a thimble. But so many people look at me and go, I can never sew with a thimble. I don't know how to use it. And I just look at them and I'm confused. I literally forget that I have it on my hand. And there have been very awkward instances where I've been in the bathroom and nowhere to put the thimble. And then you're like, oh God, um, um, uh. <laughs> and yeah, it's, it's awkward. But that's how I learned was how to sew with a thimble. I don't know how to hand sew without one. But I have no idea how to use, like I barely know how to use my own machine. And I've had this thing for years and I still refer back to the instruction manual going like, what does this stitch even mean? How do you do a blind hem on a machine? I don't freaking know. What's that stitch do? I don't know. How does my buttonholer work? I don't know. I mean, it, it, it dumbfounds me almost every time I sew something and I learn something every single time. And that's what's amazing about sewing is that you never stop learning. And so if you're sitting here and you have a project on your work table and you're thinking to yourself, I suck, I'm the worst, I am hot garbage, I am the worst thing that's ever walked into the sewing room, I don't know why I have this here, I should just burn it all in a fire. 
and build Legos or something or start cooking or doing anything else, which that's all awesome too. I wish I could bake here, but huh, altitude. Don't be so hard on yourself. You, you really don't need to be that hard on yourself because there is something that you know how to do right now that someone else doesn't. And that's amazing. And you should be proud of that. And there is a skill set that you're gonna learn next that someone else doesn't know how to do, that you can teach that person how to do. And that's incredible. And you should be so proud of yourself because sewing is not just running a straight stitch. It requires so much brain power and dexterity, fine motor skills that to be able to sew even the most simplest of circle skirts, you have worked your brain so hard to get to that point and you have learned so much and you should be so proud of yourself. Even if you never become an amazing historical tailor, that's okay because there are historical tailors who don't know how to hand roll hems and that's okay. There are historic dressmakers who make beautiful hand sewn gowns that don't know how to work a serger and that's okay. We all have so much to give to everyone in this community and we all have so much to share. Never ever feel inadequate about your sewing and you already have skills that are valuable, that are useful, that you should be so proud of. We all suck at sewing and it's amazing and you're amazing and I love you and you should be so proud of yourself because sewing is really really hard and it's a great journey and there's always something to learn. All right guys I hope that rant made sense because I feel really strongly about how sewing is hard and how we all suck at sewing and it's amazing and we're blessed to suck at sewing and I want to know in the comments below what you suck at and what you're really good at when it comes to sewing. I want to know what you're proud of. I want to know what skill when it comes to sewing or pattern making or embroidery or serging or machine technicality, anything that has to do with the act of making a costume or a piece of clothing. I don't care if you're the best button nerd to button buttons or if you can do a sweet hem on a pair of jeans. I can't, like I don't hem jeans, like I don't do that. I want to know what you're good at. I want to know one thing that you're really, really proud of in the comments below. And I want to know one thing that you want to learn more about. And I hope that you all have an amazing day. And thank you so much for joining me. And I will see you next time. Woo!